Hi, today I'm going to give you a quick run through of MIDI Sys Hex on Golf and a couple of the extra little features I've added, which will probably be the last few features I had for a while. So, MIDI Sys Hex update, quite a simple process. Normally you plug power into your little golf board and it pops up like that and then it boots and it shows you the current vision and you go into your normal mode. So, what you do, now you have to be fairly quick with this, so you connect your power Whilst it displays the word GORF, you press a button and as soon as you get those zeros you send your MIDI file and you'll see the counters counting up as it receives all the various bytes of data. It does take a while so I'll probably cut away from the end of this and leave it going and fade it back in in a bit. Right, when GORF gets towards the end you'll see it will stop with a final value. I think in this case it should be A480, there we go. It'll then come up with a little message saying it's done and it's booting and you've now got version 0.22 loaded and ready to go. Version 0.22, couple of the new features. Um, I've now added support for the load and store buttons. So without further ado, um, if we go to load, we'll load pattern one. See, nice and simple that, isn't it? And there you go. You can hear pattern one. To load a new pattern, press load. Press the next pattern number. So we go for pattern four. Now what the more astute of you will notice is that it no longer changes pattern straight away. It actually waits till the pattern completes before changing pattern. So if we go to pattern two. Now, let's remind you back of Space Invaders days. Um, there are now eight patterns, so you've got pattern one through to eight, nice and simple. So, we'll go for a classic one, as people know, we've got some other ones here, and we got this one. Good old mix of stuff there. Now, you can switch to load mode, for want of a different phrase, when you're in any mode at all. So. If we go to control mode, where have we gone? There we go. And we speed things up a little bit. We'll slow them down even. And we go, okay, we like that. But we want to go back to the other pattern. So we just hit load again. And we just go. It's a bit mental now. So, and again, you can just press the mode button to jump straight back out to where you were before. So we don't think that's a bit too fast. So we'll slow it down. like that. So now what we want to do is we want to, we want to uh, let's, let's modify that pattern. Let's have a there you go. weird note in the middle of the bottom of it. So now you want to save it, you press the save button and you tell it where you want to store it. And that's it stored. And you press the store button to exit. So if we go and load a pattern there, a really slow one slightly mental one, and we go back to that one, there you go. So the store fruit functions a little bit smoother now, it does still hiccup occasionally, especially when you've got a pattern like that one, which is going a little bit potty, and you probably won't notice it on that one when it's quite a bit slower. Um, so that's about it for the moment, um, I'm still waiting for the boards to come, they've been ordered, um, and as soon as they come I'll have the pricing and I'll be able to put pricing on the web for uh, various kits. Thanks very much.